Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to set the nav item to active in our PHP project. So let's get started with it. So here you can see this first page item is active. So when I click on all categories, it is still active on this first page itself. So whatever page I select, this thing remains active. So now we are going to see how to set this dynamically to active. Okay, so whichever page is selected, so you can just take it from over here and set that current item to active. So let's get started with it. So I'll just go to my code and here we have our index.php. So we are just going to use the dollar underscore server. Let me just show you echo dollar underscore server of script underscore name refresh your index.php you can see we have got this path so i just need this one thing right so for this we are going to use the substring function so i will just write the code over here let me just say substring i will paste this in this and then we are going to say string reverse position of slash and in this dollar underscore script so now let me show you what does this mean refresh so copy echo So you can see here you have got 27 right so this is the last occurrence of this slash so we are just removing all that data and we are just taking the substring from 27th character so i don't require this slash i need only this index.php so we'll just add one to this number so over here just say plus one i'll just remove this refresh so we have got the file name now okay index.php so now what we are going to do is we will include this in our sidebar so i will just control x and go to your includes sidebar.php and over here you can just say open php close php and create a variable over here Call it dollar page is equal to and paste this thing. Control X paste. Okay. So you will get the file name in this dollar page variable. In this class, you can see you have active and BG gradient primary. So if you put these two classes in any of this A tag, you will get the active background. Okay. So this thing only with the page is active, only on that we have to show. So for that we are just going to use a ternary operator over here and over here I'll just say dollar page is double equal to just copy the href so it is category dot php and question mark and say if this dollar page is equal to category dot php then we are going to echo these two things that is active and bg gradient primary else we are just leaving it null so you just copy this whole thing and paste it in all the a tag paste change the file name over here and then copy and paste then change the file name copy paste okay and here we don't have anything so it looks good and instead of this first page let us say dashboard and refresh so now this dashboard is active so let me go to all categories so now all categories is active but there is some kind of shadow in this so we'll just check that okay so this active class is still there 
I'll just remove it and this dashboard yeah, over here yeah so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to set the current nav item to active in our php project so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you